Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you, Virgos, and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those, and thank you to those who donate to the channel, and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Cross watch if you are in here, feel free to flip the rolls. Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign? Someone here is having issues with their throat chakra. But give me a mood card for the other earth sign. What's the energy here? What's the strongest energy here, Spirit? Give me a card for the other earth sign. And then give me a card for Virgo. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too many cards. Give me a card for Virgo. Give me a clear message. Thank you. So the card that is coming out for the other earth sign, Virgos, it says, bring it on. It says, hopeful. It says, I am optimistic about the future. I have faith that all will be well and as it should be. Okay. So that's good. I kind of like that energy. And then the energy that's coming out. Ooh, <laughs> the energy that's coming out for you, Virgos, it says, not letting go. It says, resentment. Hmm. It says... I can be forgiven without forgetting. It says I'm ready to move on and be at peace within. So this is letting go of malice, right? Um, I always say sometimes it takes too much energy to hold on to malice. <laughs> so maybe there's something here that you need to let go of here, Virgos. Or maybe, maybe it's not necessarily, you know, that energy of forgetting, but like it says, at least forgiving a situation or a person. But let's see. Show me more. What do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign? Could be dealing with another Virgo with the hermit energy. We also have Taurus. What's the energy here, Spirit? And going forward. Thank you. Judgment. So the first card that is coming out is the Emperor. So this Earth sign, oh, yeah, it could be a Taurus, right, with the Emperor energy. Heavy Taurus with the Hierophant. Now, for some of you, it feels like you're dealing with someone who is taking charge of something. Now, the Emperor, this could be a boss, right? This could be someone that you have children. Um, the Emperor is usually someone who is in some sort of leadership role. But like I said, it could be someone who is taking control of their life. Or taking control of a certain situation is what I'm hearing. Now, the Hierophant... Oh, the first thing they said to me is the Hierophant is the pair to the High Priestess. So, I mean, for them saying that, you could be dealing with someone who is maybe gifted in some way, right? Maybe this is just someone... Um, oh, I just heard... Uh, they showed me the King of Wands. So, someone who maybe, maybe is a psychic or something like that. But I'm hearing they have the vision. But there's heavy, I mean, heavy energy out here where you could be married to this person... This could be someone who is religious. Show me more. Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. What's the Emperor? Emperor. 
you have the garden. So for some of you, this could be somebody who lives in your community or something like that. But the garden talks about, it is a number 20 and it's giving me this energy where someone here may be trying to make some sort of choice about um, either making something public, maybe making themselves known here, right? But this also can talk about networking. So this could be like some sort of business proposal for some of you here. Um, or like I said, or maybe you already work with this person. But the the garden card talks about groups, it talks about an audience, it talks about fame, and it talks about outdoors. So for others of you, someone here could be in the public eye, whether it's you or them, whether it's both of you here. I also see someone, um, almost like an energy of coming out of hermit mode. Oh, I'm hearing as well, some of you could be dealing with someone who is being released from something. So with them saying that, it could be released from... I don't know, whatever, right? I just see the doors opening for somebody. And I see someone finding the courage to go through those doors. What's the Hierophant? Ooh, you have a ring. Now, this card talks about promises, commitments, partnerships. It, again, that energy of a deal or signing some sort of contract. Or this could be some sort of new cycle starting for somebody here. Someone could be thinking about proposing to another person. Yeah, someone here may be reaching a point in their life where they're just like, you know what, hey, I'm ready to settle down. Or, you know, maybe someone here is becoming more mature or more wiser. Someone here is ready for some sort of peace. You have the heart right behind it. Love, romance. Someone here may be ready to open their heart. And then we have the key. And look at that. You've got the bouquet right behind it. With the um, clover, which talks about luck. And then interesting that the scythe is in the reverse. Now, if the scythe was in the upright, it talks about something being dangerous. It talks about maybe the ending of a cycle or a chapter here. But it's in the reverse and everything else is in the upright. There's happiness coming to someone in some way, shape or form. So show me more about this. Virgo's in with another earth sign. Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. This is victory. This is success. This is someone who is thinking clearly. I'm also hearing a clear path ahead. The Emperor in the Garden. The Fool. <laughs> a leap of faith, new beginnings, free and unencumbered. Show me more. And the Star card. So this is healing, this is hope, this is faith. You see the stalk in the background of this card. I don't want to hold it up too much. The woman's completely naked. So it just makes me feel like that energy of a rebirth with her being completely naked here. And like I said, there's a stalk in the background, which to me represents new beginnings. Show me more. Coming out sideways is a blockage, right? Maybe there was some delays in this situation with the Wheel of Fortune. But the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about a shift. It talks about fate. It talks about destiny. It talks about new cycles. It talks about things turning in someone's favor. I'm also hearing somebody getting on their destined path. And they're saying life is magical. What's the fool? Coming out sideways on the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups. Something here was delayed. There's an offer coming in for someone here. Now, again, it doesn't always have to be related to love, relationship. It could be that maybe someone here um, has seen you with the star card, right? Public fame. And maybe they just have a desire to work with you, to make you an offer. But the Knight of Cups does also talk about moving things to the next level. I'm hearing it's time. 
I'm hearing someone say, I gotta give this a shot. What's the the fool and the knight of cups? The two of wands. You know, where I was here in its time. This could be a reconciliation here. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo with the hermit energy. Or like I said, maybe someone here has been in isolation. Someone here could have been getting some sort of wise counsel or some sort of advice. Two of Wands. Someone's been watching another person. This woman has a mobile in her hand. And I notice that she's only holding on to one wand. So it gives me this energy where someone may have already made up their mind about something. And maybe now it's just the action that is needed behind it. But show me what this star is. What was that? What is this star? The Nine of Pentacles. What's the star in the Nine of Pentacles? And the Three of Cups. So Virgos, you could be the one in the public eye, right? Or maybe you have helped somebody to heal. Or maybe someone here, like I said, has been spending time on their own. Because the Nine of Pentacles does talk about someone who is single, independent, self-sufficient. But the Three of Cups, this is an energy of celebrations. Reunited and it feels so good. What's the Wheel of Fortune? You may, um, I was going to say, for some of you, you may meet somebody out outdoors or when you're out and about with friends or, you know, because the Three of Cups can also talk about, you know, partying and things like that. What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Wheel of Fortune, you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant. There could be some sort of separation of a group or something like that. Maybe this is uh, some sort of a breakup with the Three of Pentacles, right? Maybe that was what the blockage was. It could be a third party. Because the Wheel of Fortune did come out sideways. There had to be, again, you know, some sort of shift in a certain situation. Seven of Swords, Liar, Cheat, a Thief at the bottom of the deck. Someone could have married the wrong person. Maybe somebody was going through a divorce. What's the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Ten of Swords wanted to show its face. And a Queen of Cups. Oh. Someone could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio energy. But there's betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. Um, it's reminded me of that video I did the other day. I don't know why, but I'm hearing that energy of sleeping with the enemy. The moon, the Eight of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, this could be someone's baby mother or something like that. Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Seven of Swords, or someone lied about you. What's this over here, Spirit? What is the Hierophant and the Ring? Okay. Six of Wands. The Judgment. Something here is going to be victorious. And you could have a lot of people that are maybe envious or jealous of this situation with the devil at the bottom of the deck. With the eight of cups. Something getting exposed as well. It causes another person to walk away from a situation or leave a home. Because someone was in the energy of, I would do anything, say anything to get the outcome that I want. But whoever this is, is someone who is toxic, low vibrational, or someone wanting to keep another person attached to them. Show me more what this is, though. Six of Wands and the Judgment. The Empress. <laughs> yeah, it's like that energy of, will the 
real empress, please stand up. Or someone here is seeing who, maybe who the real divine feminine is. What's the six of wands? What's the six of wands, spirit? You have, oh, it landed on the Queen of Cups. It's the Knight of Swords. I don't know if someone here is angry about you being in the public eye here. This Knight of Swords is giving me an energy of frustration. What's this Knight of Swords? <laughs> With the Six of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. The Two of Swords. That's the Three of Swords energy. So someone, not only are they angry, but they're heartbroken. Someone here could be going through the motions here. I don't know if somebody tried to block you here with this two of swords. Two of swords talks about somebody being at a crossroads. But it's making me feel like blockages as well. Let me just see. How are we doing for time? Okay. Yeah, someone is coming in. I mean, it could be somebody rushing towards you as well. Mm, someone here may be facing their fears. Do, let me just clarify. Maybe that's easier. Spirit, what's the Two of Swords with the Knight of Swords? <laughs> the devil came right back out. <laughs> Yeah, it's like someone here watching you here, Virgos. I don't know if this is a third-party situation. It's almost like somebody watching to see if someone's going to go back to their past or you could be dealing with a soulmate here. Someone knows that wherever someone else is going, it's going to be peaceful. A balance. What's the judgment? Coming out sideways. It's a blockage. Page of Pentacles. Show me more. Page of Pentacles to me talks about new beginnings, right? Landed on the Wheel of Fortune. Something here is fate and destiny. Fate and destiny to rekindle something with somebody. Seven of Swords. Ah. Give me one more for that, Spirit. What's the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords? The High Priestess. And the World card. Show me more. I'm actually kind of looking in the Four of Swords. I was looking for the Magician, but let's see. You have the Eight of Wands. I feel like, I mean, it kind of, it makes me feel like the Magician, right? Page of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Almost like maybe someone paid somebody to do something, to end something. Give me one more, because some of you could do something online. I don't know, maybe you are speakers or something like that. But the world can represent the internet. Give me one for the world card. Yeah, six of pentacles you give back. Six of pentacles talks about giving and receiving. Clarify the high priestess with the eight of wands. And the eight of wands did land on the garden, right? Yeah, the queen of pentacles, your energy. So you, you, some of you are on some sort of platform. Psychics, high priestess, eight of wands, you receive your messages from above. But this is also you moving forward with something or something picking up speed. So what is the world with the six of pentacles? The Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? The Three of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so the Three of Swords in the reverse talks about somebody coming out of heartbreak, heartache. Someone who is not sad or grieving. Knight of Wands, someone could be coming towards you really quickly.
So I don't know if this Seven of Swords is an energy of strategy. Or someone's strategizing something. What's the Seven of Swords? Sun in the reverse. I don't even know if that was meant to come in the reverse. What's the Seven of Swords? Uh, three of Wands, Four of Cups and the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanted uh, another person to miss an opportunity. They don't want them to be happy or have happiness. Or they didn't want someone to expose something. But I feel like something was exposed. What's the Empress? The Empress is the lovers that hit that Emperor. Ah, a divine pair. The Emperor and the Empress. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What's the Empress and the Lovers? Four Swords in the Reverse. Yeah, I feel like that Four Swords in the Reverse is saying to me, uh, no more delays here. But, you know, the Four Swords in the Upright can talk about um, someone who is very much... Um, in an energy of fear and anxiety and stress, right? That energy of suffering in silence here. Again, it's, there may be something here about illness that maybe someone has recovered from. Um, because in the reverse, you know, this is finding mental strength and awakening. And we have the judgment out here. This is the energy where I was saying at the beginning, you know, maybe someone here is rejoining the world. But it's coming out of isolation. Okay. I don't know, there could be some sort of spell work that is wearing off. But show me more. What's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? We have reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Whoever this is, they were worth waiting for. It says worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. And there we go. I said some of you could be dealing with a soulmate. Soulmate says yes, this is your soulmate. I just parted the deck on finances and career and wedding. Now, that could say to me, especially if someone is thinking of proposing to someone, someone could be working on their finances or I don't know if someone was with like a gold digger or got married for money. But show me more. What's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Okay, looks like it's coming out sideways. You have not today. Mm. Someone could be blocking this third party or... If this is a third party situation, for some of you, maybe you are just blocking this person. But it says not today. It says not dealing. It says her avoiding conversation, core person, boundaries, still angry. And for some of you, this could be the reason why this person hasn't reached out to you. They don't know what your perception is going to be. You do have over here, Virgos, not letting go, resentment. Show me more. You have paradise, it says happiness, expansion, it says joy, playfulness, oneness, it says enjoying each other. Okay, you know, someone could, okay, let me just keep moving forward. <laughs> you have the butterfly, it says relationship evolving to the next phase, it says healing the inner child, it says growth, and right behind it you have passion. It says insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. So that's good. Looking good for whoever this is. Give me one card for going forward in love. Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. One card. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So the card that is coming out, it says hidden desires. It says... 
there's someone else or a fantasy that's unfulfilled. It says secrets, it says tempered, and it says affair. Oh, Virgos, is this someone you had an affair with? Feels like someone's been daydreaming about someone and it's like, I can't remember what I said earlier, but it, it gives that energy of, um, I gotta, I gotta give this a go. I, I gotta, you know, it's that energy of, I gotta know if this would work out for me. They're playing that song, Take My Breath Away. But let's see, what do my Virgos need to be aware of in this situation? <laughs> what do Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Give me one card. Yeah, I was thinking the way they was um they were playing um why do fools fall in love? So I don't know, it didn't feel like the be aware was bad. And I was also hearing, I mean, I didn't know if it was a negative thing, but I was hearing beware that you don't fall in love. And then you have yes coming out. It says luck is on your side. So beware not to miss an opportunity maybe for some of you. Because it feels like the universe is in favour of this. You've got date night at the bottom of the deck. It says get ready to be wined and dined. And intuition. So. What's the energy? What is that? You'll be aware. Let's see what they don't want you to know. Alright. Virgo's in with a Capricorn. What they don't want the Virgo to know. Capricorn spirit. Coming in the, almost in the reverse, you have sex shop. Okay. And, oh, okay. Um, what they don't want you to know, private relationship and sex shop in the reverse. Hmm. I don't even know how to take that. Give me one more. What well, the Capricorn doesn't want. Maybe they have some sort of secret desires or something like that. For some of you, I'm hearing something about a Capricorn who wants to have sex with the lights off. And it could just be because maybe they're a little bit insecure. But you do have, yeah, you have insecure coming out here. But I don't know. They may be keeping something private here. Like a hidden relationship for some of you. I don't know, you got caught out at the bottom of the deck and it says finding evidence, getting caught. It says cheating. I don't know if this is... Um, well, I just saw something about like dirty pictures. They could be like deleting dirty pictures or something like that. Okay, um, Virgo's dealing with a, another Virgo. What they don't want the Virgo to know. You have hater. And you have coming out sideways, landing on this three of cups with the three of pentacles here. You have a bugaboo. So the Virgo doesn't want you to know that there is a third party that hates you. Give me one more. What is hater and bugaboo? Look, and then you have I hate nothing about you. I feel like for some of you that, I don't know, maybe they don't want you to know, like I said, there's a third party that does not like you, Virgos. And how many fucks do you give? Zero. Virgos are dealing with a Taurus. What they don't want the Virgos to know. Hater coming out again. And it landed on Butterfly. Taurus. And coming out sideways. So again, this energy you have already knowing the T.
could be a Taurus here that maybe drinks a lot. But, um, I don't know, Virgo's coming out sideways is a blockage. Maybe you don't care. Give me a card going forward for the other Earth sign. Yeah, I feel like someone here has been doing some healing, you know. Give me a card for the other Earth sign. So going forward, landing on the Nine of Pentacles, it says past lack and suffering. Why? Maybe they just have some sort of regrets from the past, right? Yeah, self-worth and expectations. You've got guilt and sabotage at the bottom of the deck. What's the energy going forward for Virgo? Thoughts and isolating. So in your head here, Virgos, okay? Don't overthink a situation. Show me more with thoughts and isolating. Yeah, third eye and clarity. So, you know, this could be you going forward, you using your intuition, your discernment in a situation, okay? Your Intuition is going to give you confirmation of something or it's going to help to lead you in the right direction when it comes to whatever this is. So that is what I have for you if you are dealing with another earth sign. I do hope that something has resonated with you Virgos. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part Virgos, stay safe, love and light guys.